Hello everybody and welcome back to more Nuclear Throne Ultra. We are jumping in again today. We're going to go as little old sheep. We'll go with uh, random again here. Oh, dude, that is a cool looking sheep. What's that other one here? Um, save a lost sheep as sheep. Okay, I'm going to definitely go with this one. This one looks awesome. Sheep just got a, a nice visual overhaul recently and looks a lot better. But look at this one. Looks awesome. Looks awesome. Um, but yeah, we've, we've, we've done our secret, right? We've got our secret ultra as this guy. Oh, wait, no. Wait. Or, no, I guess they're all these secrets. No, they're not. Okay, that's fine. Um, right. Let's go and put that on random. And let's just jump in and see what we can get done here. Yeah, this is a really cool skin. I like it. But yeah, we can do a bit, a bit of charging. A little bit of charging as sheep. Honestly, I, th I think it falls off pretty quick. But it does make the early floors a little easier. I got the inversion magnet there. I wasn't intending to do that, but I'll take it. Uh, I'll take flexible elbows here as well. I probably could do with taking um, the tentacles as well, so that when I uh, when I use this ability, I'm firing tentacles while I do it. It had to, it had to run out then, didn't it? it did, <laughs> that was so annoying. It ran out at the perfect time to screw me up. What? How did... No, okay, no. Sorry, but how did I get so little rads that floor then? Uh, what? I didn't... Um, I didn't start with a weapon this time. What? Sheep? Are you okay? Why didn't I start with a weapon then? <laughs> there you go. That was weird. I've never not started with a weapon before. There is some tentacles coming out though when I'm hitting enemies. Get out of here. Oh my god, I've struck so much damage there. What's going on with these floors that have like barely any rads on them? What's, what's that about? We'll stick with a wrench for now, because it's good for deflecting explosive shots when they come our way. Okay, and any other shots for that matter. But unfortunately, not the best for dealing with an enemy like this. Wow, he is aggressive. He is aggressive. How dare you. But yeah, I, I do kind of just like using the sheep's charge to get around. I think once you get the, um, once you get the, what's it called? The throne, but it's a bit better. And, uh, Gamma Guts makes it really good too. But otherwise, it's kind of just okay. Right. Good. Yeah, I, I need to see if I've unlocked all the secret ultras or not. Because I, I went through and got a lot of them. Uh, but I've still not got all of them yet. Um, and there's also some characters in which I unlocked all of them, but they don't actually unlock unlock until you select them. So I did the requirements. They were shown to me as an option, but I didn't actually permanently unlock them because I didn't select them. Um, so that's another thing that I need to, like, address. Honestly, the nail gun might absolutely mess this guy up if I can actually hit him. Yeah, but I actually hit him. Yeah, I just can't. <laughs> Toxic line is... Whoa, excuse me. I feel that I must have walked over the top of that... Um, top of that ammo. I don't know how I wouldn't have. So that's some BS right there. Um, do, do, do. I should go with Rhino skin here. Um, and... Go with extra feet. Extra feet's always good. Get out of here, shark boy. Shark boy is the worst. Especially when he summons a bunch of other fools. Teleport me right when I'm about to get the ammo. Oh, fucker. You stop summoning things and not telling me. We got him, we got him. Took a bit of doing, but we got him. Right. Probably grab Mood Swing here, considering the uh, the weaponry that we've got. We're out down Mood Swing. There it is. 
I say the fire's gonna do some extra stuff for us. Yeah, fire spreads quite nicely. And then on top of that, we've got Toxic Line, which will do some good stuff too. It's kind of having the Toxic Line is is kind of like having a shotgun with a uh, with this setup. Yeah, we fire it, and then the toxic immediately dissipates and shoots everything. <laughs> it's like having a funky little shotgun. Okay, I kind of trapped myself in a corner there. I do not like the situation that I'm in right now. That, that fire spewer really messed me up. It's in a very inconvenient location. Man, remember the days of playing... Territorial Expansion, I think it was called, is the other, like, large nuclear throw mod. And it has that floor that just has a spinning fire spewer in the middle. That was the worst. That was honestly awful. <laughs> that mod's really good, but goddamn, that thing was just actually gross. <laughs> and then also there was the, um, there was the, like, maggot thing that, that was in there. Uh, better charge, more charge damage, mod, um, charge, control, faster charge. Probably go with that, yeah, why not? Yeah, that thing, there was like a, a big old maggot thing you could get. Dude, that's a good opener for a floor. Excuse me. I requested that you died, and you didn't. I wonder if, I wonder what Eagle Eyes does with this. Does it like just make the uh, line of toxic, like, sort of more in line with each other rather than spreading? Oh, probably should have taken that flare gun, to be honest, over the flamethrower. Right, definitely need to switch up my weapons. They're falling off a little bit, even the toxic line. This is a really good thing for this area, although I ran into an explosive enemy there by accident, but I didn't die, so worked out reasonably well, I think. Um, don't know what to go for here. Um, I could try on intestines and see how that goes. Chop splinter gun. Ah, okay, so chop is just like a prefix. You can have multiple different types of chop weapons. I like it. Okay. Flare gun. Yeah, I think I'm going to take the flare gun. I think the flare gun's better than the flamethrower. Even the golden one. This is an auto flare gun, is it? That would be, that would be a lot better. Okay, I, I was wondering if it was killing stuff or not. It, it seems to have a range issue, though. Like, if I fire at an enemy really close, the toxic line just misses them. Like, it's like they're too close. And the flare gun's gonna be our way to go for now. Direct to plasma. Probably should've taken energy brain when I had the opportunity. I really, I really should take energy brain just more often, even if I don't have an energy weapon, because you find them pretty often, and the damage output is pretty awesome. We good? Yeah. Took quite a lot of damage there. Definitely need to switch up my weaponry. Really need to eagle eyes for this thing, I think. If, if it lowers the spread the way I think it will. Because what I want is the Toxic to do some damage, then hit the wall. But at the minute, it's kind of hitting the wall pretty much immediately, and the Toxic isn't really getting any chance to do extra damage. Bayonet rifle. Oh, I see. I see. I really like, I really like the idea of these charged melee weapons. They're quite unique. Pretty new. Taking you out. 
straight through here we go. And that, so that, there it is. Let's, let's, let's give it a go and see if it works. Um, I'll go with lightning on this thing and see if that helps as well. Um, bayonet rifle. I'm going to take the bayonet rifle. It's just more fun. I know it's not mood swing compatible, but still. I, I can't tell if it's working or not. But, I tell you, the accuracy is definitely helping with the, the bayonet rifle here. I think it fires shotgun shells as well, so this was shotgun shoulders and um, like extra melee range would be a sight to behold. I actually really like that. I love charge up weapons though. They're risky, but they're fun. I mean, we could also get uh, Tails End as well for a quicker charge up. That'd be even better. Even better. We shall see what the game gives us. Ooh, that, this was a bad idea. This was a bad idea. I forgot, kind of forgot I had alien intestines going on right now. Morph a minigun. I've never really used the morph weapons that much. So, give it a go. Give it a go. Toxic line we definitely need to replace with a different toxic weapon at this stage, I think. Or, or like, fire weapon. Anything that's going to be mood swing compatible, I think. Doing pretty well. Got a lot of sheepies here. And we are a sheepy ourselves. I don't really know. With morph weapons, does it morph them at a health threshold? Or does it just morph them when they die? Like, am I actually killing enemies quicker by morphing them? Or is, is it literally just like a visual aspect of the gun? Because surely, considering there's a whole section of morph weapons, it's not just visual. Unfortunately, I've not got a good weapon to fight this guy with at all right now, and do not have ammo for my morph weapon. I'm not, not much at least. Like, the toxic weapon's fine, but if he moves a lot, it's gonna be hell. <laughs> See, the toxic line's actually gonna be not too bad in the, um, in the cloud area. Because there's no walls, which means it'll travel, but it does mean that um, Mood Swing won't do anything, which is a bit of a shame. But, I think overall it's going to be good. Right, come on through. You stay away from me, good sir. That morphed him. Why did that morph him? I'm confused. Uh, micro Crash. Oh, and I've got Eagle Eyes as well. This is going to be <laughs> Yes, although, although, actually... Let's see what we lose first, because we lose the eagle eyes and it's not going to be anywhere near as good. Well, we lost mood swing, so I'm good to get rid of that. Why is this game so evil? Literally has left me with the three things I just don't care about. <laughs> Taking away the three mutations that actually mean anything to me. Oh, that's so devastating. It's so horrible. <laughs> every time, man. Every time. Yeah, because the sheep are weird, because they just kind of, like, get in the way and block shots, so they must be doing something for me. But yeah, honestly, it, it, I feel like it's it's got to be doing it on purpose, right? It's got to be taking away items, like, the uh, mutations that are affecting my build. It can't be random, because I'm getting way too unlucky with the shit that it's taking. Every single time I come down here, it takes away my important stuff. It sees what weapons I have and it goes, ah, ah, ah. Get away, you circle boys. There's a lot of sheep about. This weapon's proving to be very good in this area, by the way. Where art thou? Good, good, good. Yeah, purple, I am interested. Right, um, I don't really know what to take here. Um, I find saliva, I feel like, it just is kind of meh. I'll go with Bloodlust. It does seem to be killing them faster, right? but then again, that might just be because it's got high damage. It's a minigun. I, I, I really still don't know how Moth fully affects the weapon. 
the developer or someone else can give me a bit of insight if they know. I never really pick up morph weapons, and maybe I'm missing out. Ooh, that was... I don't know how I didn't get hit by the poison there, actually. Plasma cannon. Plasma cannon's very good from what I remember. Um, Thunder Kraken's potentially more fun, but this is just a very good weapon, so I'll take it. Um... Because it is, it is killing very, very quickly. Seems very good for this area. I think the sheep are helping me block shots as well. I think that's another good thing about them. They're, um... Although they're a little in the way for my shots, they do block enemy shots too, which is particularly useful. It does seem that some enemies are producing two sheep as well. Right, I think we're good. I think that's everything. Right. I know how I'm going to best this dude whenever he spawns. Just charge into him and then use my uh, alien intestine. I've been charging it this entire time. Yeah, that was <laughs> very easy. I do like the way he like steals your weapon, but... With that, with the, the thingy weapon there, um, I couldn't see the plasma weapon. I couldn't actually see what was going on. All right, we're back through. Our regal vision is going to be press F while at full charge to activate a supercharge. Completely immune during supercharge. Supercharge goes towards your aim. You can also supercharge when unseen or right after a hyper dash. I don't know what unseen or hyper dash means. Oh, I see. That's 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 pretty awesome. So I'm guessing now I can't use it. Really? 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 <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Just instantly, instantly died there. That's uh... I had 12 health, mind you. I had 12 health. And I hyper dash into an enemy. It doesn't kill them. Doesn't do enough damage to kill them. And I die. Seems like a blast. I I I, I do oh my god I died. I do quite like the regal visions though at the moment. They seem like not crazy, and they seem like I, I think because I'm just not used to using actives really. I very rarely use my actives in this game. I'm not really used to using them that much. But I think that they're pretty interesting and. Like, at least unique, and it's just kind of a fun extra area to go to to see what you can get. I think some of them will need buffs. Like, that that rebel one that I got where it was, like, throwing your companions, that just seemed like a meme. I, I, I don't really think that was useful at all. Um, so some of the, some like that might need a buff, but I haven't really had the chance to properly use them, because even the ones I have got, that sort of thing's happened, where I've not had them for very long. Take care of you. Take care of you as well. Um, so we eagle eyes off the bat here because we've got this thing and it's very good with eagle eyes. I don't know what's going on with the tentacles that keep popping out. There's enemies that have like a little sheep icon above their head and when I hit them, they spawn tentacles by the looks of it. I don't really know what that's about. Easy kill. But first time fighting Big Bandit in ages. I've been going other ways recently. Ooh, shotgun shoulders with this thing could be fun. Let's give it a go, shall we? Eagle eyes plus shotgun shoulders as well has some fun interactions in terms of the uh, the herming of the shots. I like it. I think um, shotgun shoulders is one of my favorite mutations to build around. It's wacky. It's just crazy. Ball there, lovely. There's a sniper somewhere up there that's doing me a disservice. There we go, got Morpho laser here. I'm gonna try and use the morph weapons a little more often because clearly I'm missing out on something because that minigun was very good. And also I feel like when I'm a sheep, I want sheep around me. Um. Let's 
go with that. That's going to be good with shotgun shoulders. Triple pop gun. Triple pop gun I think I'm going to take as it's going to be affected by shotgun shoulders and the eagle eyes is going to make it even easier to hit things. Obviously ammo consumption is a bit of a concern with this thing but overall it's fine. Director penetrator sounds good as well though. I mean, like, director penetrator. It ju it just sounds like someone that someone that makes pornos, right? Like, speaking to the director, speak to the director penetrator. Like, <laughs> auto shotgun as well. I'll take that. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Ah, I thought snake gun fired um, shells then, but it doesn't. We got an auto shotgun here, though. We like that. We'll take the fists here. Oh my god. <laughs> that was awesome. That area just just evaporated into nothingness. Um doo -doo 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 -doo. This is sharp stress is one that I feel like needs to, uh, I, I honestly think it should just get reworked entirely. Kind of like how mood uh, not mood swing, uh how like scary a face got a rework. I think sharp stress should get reworked as well. Like people who's taking sharp stress? <laughs> like it's just it's just meh. Go with uh, Rabbit's Paw here. Gatling Slugger. We'll go with a Gatling Slugger, thank you. Good. Yeah, Rapid Fire Slugger works for me. It's very single target, but... We've got we've got multi-target here. The single target works fine for me. We just seem to be getting a lot of shotguns given to us at the moment, which is rather nice. Right. Oh, they they got fire behind them when they dash. I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. Okay, I didn't mean to go through here, but we're through here. I missed out on a herming. Um, mutation there for my weapon, a weapon mod. Mini incinerator? Min incinerator? Put a bit of morph on that, why not? Yeah. You were trapped in here with me, good lad. The Gatling Slug is fine, but I think I'll probably swap it out first. It's doing a decent job, but yeah, like, it's kind of better for the bosses and stuff, right? Um, I could go with Recycle Gland. Um, hit bullets, deal splash damage, yeah, this, like... I, to be fair, actually, I don't know, because these these count as bullets for ammo for Recycle Gland, right? So they're using bullet ammo. Oh, wow, that was a quick death. But I don't know if they count for the splash damage if they're... Shells that have been affected by shotgun shoulders. Either way, we'll leave this one there. We've got to see the Regal Vision. That's pretty cool. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.